Many of today's benchtop oscilloscopes have built-in hardware countermeasurements, including Keysight's InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes. But there is a lot of confusion about what the difference is between a hardware counter frequency measurement versus a waveform frequency measurement. So what is the difference and which one should we use? Hi, I'm Johnny Hancock, product manager for Keysight's InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes. Let's get started and I'll show you the difference between these different types of frequency measurements on oscilloscopes. So here's an RF signal. This is a 13.56 megahertz carrier, which is a pretty common frequency for applications such as RFID or NFC, stands for near field communication. So let's measure the frequency a couple different ways. So I'm going to select the frequency measurement that's based on the digitized waveform. And it's measuring right now, it says about 13.5 something. It's flipping back and forth. What it's doing is measuring the period of, of just one cycle, taking the reciprocal to come up with the uh, measurement results. And we can see the statistics. Now let's, let's do this measurement a different way and see if we can get a, a higher resolution measurement. So what I'm gonna do, is go into the Analyze menu and select Counter. Now the Counter is a hardware-based counter measurement, just like a standalone counter. It makes measurements based on trigger crossings, not based on the digitized waveform. So let's select, it's already selected here, a frequency measurement on channel one, and it measures 13.560 with no flipping digits. So we have five digits of very stable resolution. And what it's doing is it's capturing multiple trigger crossings, it's counting them over a gate time. In this case, with five digit resolution, it's got a gate time or it counts trigger crossings for 100 milliseconds. Now I can increase to six digits, now you see six very stable digits, seven digits, takes a little longer to make the measurement, but you can see seven stable digits, or I could go all the way up to eight digits. The gate time is about 10 seconds long. So you can see it makes very stable measurements relative to conventional oscilloscope frequency measurements. So why not use the counter measurement for frequency measurements all the time. Let's see. So here's an example where the hardware counter is probably not gonna work for us. So we, we have two bursts of signals. Uh, there's a analog burst here, and then followed by a digital burst. And what if we wanna know the frequency of each of those bursts? If I turn on the hardware counter, let's do that. It measures 750 kilohertz and some digits flipping. It's just measuring the average frequency of this signal, including all the dead time, at this point over a 100 millisecond window. So this is totally inaccurate. Now let's do it the correct way. I'm going to um, go into my measurement menu and I've got frequency turned on and I'm going to select gated by cursors and, and so now it's going to perform, and let's move this over here so we can see it more clearly. This digital burst, it's measuring just between the cursors, it's measuring a frequency of 1.25 megahertz, a lot faster than what the counter measured, which was incorrect. Now let's, let's measure the analog burst kind of over there on the front porch. And we see that it measures about five megahertz. So for continuous wave or CW type signals, the hardware counter will always provide 
higher resolution and more accurate frequency measurements. But for more complex non-CW type signals, especially when measurement gating is required, the scope's standard frequency measurement based on the digitized waveform is the one to choose. If you think you might have learned something in this short video to make you more proficient in performing oscilloscope measurements, I invite you to view our other InfiniVision Oscilloscope Measurement Tips videos. To learn more about Keysight's InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes, go to the URL listed on your screen or contact one of Keysight's authorized distributors. Thanks and Simplify.